Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Aries. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, I've done your spread today, Aries, with my big combined deck, the Good Tarot and the Animal Oracles. Um, so you're going to see a combination of the two decks in your spread today. Uh, I have a, a cold, so I'm a bit congested and my throat's a bit a bit, uh, my voice is a bit raspy, but I'm still feeling good. I'm still excited to get some readings done. So um, we're going to just jump right in here with you coming into your reading today with the five of air. And what I was getting from this today, Aries, is that you are totally on form and feeling really good, uh, feeling really high vibe, feeling really, um, you know, like at the top of your game. I feel like you're you're receiving a lot of attention. There's a lot of people gravitating towards you. A lot of energies coming at you. And it's um, a little bit of a balancing act for you. You've got like a lot going on is the feeling that I get. You have a lot going on, yet you're doing an exceptional job of um, balancing all of it and still really having like a lot of energy, a really good attitude. You're just feeling really good. Um but interestingly, the armadillo spirit coming out next to it is all about boundaries. And it could be because all of this attention is, is flocking in around you. I feel like you've probably got a lot of incoming messages, a lot of people who want some of your time and attention. But you're setting like really firm boundaries. And I think that's maybe why you're so successful at maintaining your balance is because you are um, not feeling any kind of hesitation or guilt about taking care of yourself and setting those boundaries. It's like perhaps you've learned this lesson from the past about how you can't spread yourself too thin and so you're giving yourself real permission to um, do what is required to keep you totally in alignment and balanced in, you know, amongst all of the energy that's flocking around you. And it's like, you're, it's like you're a master multitasker. You're, and you're actually really thriving at it. But I, like I said, I think a key part of it is this strong boundaries that you've set. That seems to be the essential part of what's keeping you really able to, um, to pull it off. Um, and what's interesting here from this card forward, I'm kind of getting, I was kind of getting two separate messages, but I feel really strongly, uh, in one vein rather than the other. So I'll tell you what they are. First of all, this King of air at first it came out as you, like I said, with these firm boundaries, this armadillo spirit. When I saw this, I chuckled a little bit cause it kind of came across as you almost like with scuba gear on, I thought you saw you like waddling into the room with your flippers and your tank and everything. It's just like covered in protection, but almost humorously, like, like I said, you're, it's like, you're really feeling good about it, but this is like you completely protected and, um, and almost feeling humorous about it is what I was, I was thinking it was really funny. I could clearly see somebody waddling around with scuba gear on um as protection so like i said that you know scuba gear also kind of implies like uh, you know a diving in deep a diving in a fully immersive experience that you're feeling like in order to keep it all balanced and in harmony you're really needing some protection but this card also comes through to me and this is the stronger message that developed throughout the rest of the reading for me this message comes through as a strong spirit presence in your vicinity surrounding you. Like I was talking about this immersive experience. I feel like this is a, a, a somebody in spirit could be um, a family member or even um, a partner who has passed away, you know, like a soulmate energy, somebody who's really, really connected to you um, that is absolutely surrounding you energetically spiritually in the spirit realm because this card um, for me represents someone in my life 
that is in spirit that I feel around me. And when I see this card, it's always kind of a wink and a nod from him that he's, that he's present. Um, and so of course, when I saw this card today, I thought of him and I thought of him being around me all the time, but then the rest of the cards just really emphasize that message. Like I said, it could be taken two different ways. Um, with this chameleon spirit out next, what I was getting combined with this king of air, if this is a spirit around you, somebody's um, presence surrounding you, they're um, completely, like I said, they're they're very much in your environment, but it, they're blended in like this chameleon. It's like you're almost not aware that they're there. They're blended right into the background. So like I said, this to me, it's coming across very much as a spirit that's... that's um, that's surrounding you, that's protecting you, you know, with all this protection, like I said, scuba gear with you being protected and having these boundaries, the spirit could also be part of your protection. Maybe even unaware to you, they are helping to protect you, but they're, they're coming across as almost outside of your awareness. I'm not sure that you're, you're aware that they're around you but they seem to be really wanting to make it known at this point. It's like this whole reading is because they're wanting it to come more fully into your awareness because for now, up until now, they've re they've been very much present in your life, this big, strong, um, present energy, but it's been more like this chameleon completely blended in energetically. It's like they haven't really been making their presence known. They've just been blending in. Like I said, this could, if this isn't representing a spirit around you, um, it could just be somebody in your environment because like I said, I'm getting this real sense that you have these strong boundaries. It's like there's somebody around you, spirit or in physical, who wants to be close to you, but is aware of your boundary setting. And so they're kind of blending into the background as a way to be around you without setting off your alarms, without... Um, you know, kind of a way to sneak past your boundaries and be near you anyway. Um, with this queen of fire up next, you know, this being you, Aries, the fire, the queen of fire. Um, you can see she's, she's standing in this, uh, threshold and I see her as standing in a doorway. Um, protective. I feel like, you know, like with this card here, it's like, I feel like you're very much in view. You're very, I don't think that you're, um, you know, hermiting away or being in solitude. I think you're very much present, very uh, in the public eye, maybe with, you know, with all this attention that you may be receiving, you're very visible yet um, have firm boundaries with this closed door behind you. It's like there are not many who are permitted into your inner sanctuary, but you, you are very um, visible in, in your life. Like I said, you're not hermiting away, but you're just very strongly um, you have very high standards about, about who gets um, through this threshold. And then with this five of earth out next, again, this is this person, spirit or otherwise, who is almost like a master of disguise. They're kind of right up next to you, but completely blended into the background. This is, and, and again, this is surrounding you. It's on either sides of you. You're completely surrounded by this energy that has blended into your environment. It's like it's almost like part of the furniture or the wallpaper. You seem to be unaware of their presence. And I started to think at this point of I had this dream a couple months ago of a man who is um, trying to get to know me, but had this this sense of me that I had these firm boundaries. And so what he was doing was he was becoming friends with my neighbors and spending time with my neighbors as a way to get near to me. And that's kind of this feeling that I'm getting. It's almost like, you know, it's like they're hanging around in your environment without directly looking at you. You can see this figure's looking down. This chameleon is looking the opposite way. It's like no direct contact, no direct eye contact or um, visibility. You know, they're like I said, they're very blended in. Um, but so, like I said, if it's not a spirit that's hanging around you, um, it could be a person that is, is attempting to get near you by becoming friends with or getting close with people in your vicinity. Um, because they, it's like, they know that a direct line to you is, is probably going to be met with a closed door. And so they're kind of 
they're kind of taking a really, um, I don't want to say calculated because the energy is not at all like trick, tricky or sneaky or deceptive. It's just actually, you know, especially with this King of Earth coming out next, I feel like they really see you. They really see you and they understand you and they fully respect you and they understand this need that you have for boundaries. They have full understanding and respect of that. And so that's kind of why they're kind of taking this really slow, methodical approach, like sneaking up next to you without setting your alarm bells off. It's actually really smart. And it's, um, like I said, it's because it's because they're so actually in tune with you and your needs that they are approaching you in the way that they are. Like I said, if this is, if this is a spirit in your vicinity, um, like I said, they know you very well and it's like, they're, they're very much around you, though, not making it known to you because they, um, because they understand, they understand that that might be uncomfortable for you. So they're trying to not, um, make you afraid or, you know, they don't want to scare you. Um, so like I said, it could come across either way, spirit or a physical person trying to get to know you or trying to get closer to you. Um, fully respecting of your need for boundaries and probably also just fully understanding that you have a lot going on. So um, with the scarab beetle spirit coming out next, what I was getting, this is when it, you know, kind of started leaning more towards spirit for me because of the, the mystical in the, in the scarab beetle, but what was also coming through and it actually came through again at the very end of the reading with this mouse spirit is um this almost kind of behind the scenes i was getting this like with a mouse and maybe with the scarab this like below the floorboards this subtle activity going on you know uh behind the walls under the floorboards kind of out of sight um tucked away there's activity happening outside of your view that you may be kind of picking up you may be picking up some movements of it the reason why I say that with the scarab beetle is because there's a scene in Practical Magic where the the beetle arriving in her life was like a, a curse or a bad omen. Um, so she, when she starts to hear the, the sound of the beetle and it's under the floorboard and she's kind of trying to dig dig under the floor to get to the beetle under the floor... So what that brings in for me, like I said, is this, this kind of mystical, spiritual, metaphysical, um, out of sight, but still kind of reaching your senses in a subtle way, energy, but also just like in that movie, it kind of triggers a little bit of fear because she saw it as a bad omen. Anytime I see the scarab actually in any of my readings, I really have to spend time with it to see whether it's a good or a negative energy because I have such a, a history with this, the scarab. You may have heard me talk about it in other readings, but to me, sometimes it alerts me to deception. Um, but in this case, it is what it's pointing out, especially with the mouse next to it, is this under the floorboards, out of sight, um, movement of energy, like a really subtle, a subtle movement going on behind the scenes that's very mystical. Um, so, and what was I going to say about that? I kind of lost my track on that. Oh, in practical magic, it kind of triggers, it obviously it triggers her fear because she knows that means something bad is coming. And that's, you know, he, he, the King of Earth came out after the scarab, basically saying, I understand, I understand that my presence may cause, may trigger some fear in you. And that's why he's really blending into the background. That's why he's, he hasn't stepped forward and, and made his presence known yet. I like it. Um, I do sense that this isn't this is a male energy, but that could just be because for me it, it is a male energy. Um, but you know, however, however it um, resonates with you, for me it's it's very male. You know, like a father figure or you know a, a grandfather or uncle or like I said, it could even be a partner who's passed away. Um, a husband. Um, so anyway, he's he's very much aware that 
the pre his presence may be uncomfortable to you. And so that's why he's coming in so subtly because he doesn't want to trigger. He doesn't even want you to have to debate with whether this is a good thing or a bad thing. That's why it's like, it's like I said, it's like he's, he's um, sneaking in really subtly and slowly right up against you without alerting you to his presence. And with this ant spirit out next to um, the three of water, um, the ant spirit is all about collaboration and working together like partnerships. And the three of water, the three of cups is about, you know, coming together and celebration so it's all this kind of coming together, collaboration, celebration energy. And so what I was getting from this is that um, they're very much with you. They're helping you with your work. They're with you in times of celebration. It's like they want you to know that they're part of, of, of that energy. But also, like I said, if this is somebody, not a spirit, but an actual physical person in your life, this is coming through, like I said, with the dream that I had about the person becoming friends with my neighbors. And then, you know, I would be at a party at my neighbor's house and they would be there as a friend of the neighbor. And so, uh, you know what I mean? It's like, so they could be somebody that's in your work environment or like with the celebration card, it could be somebody that you meet at a party or is at a mutual friends, like uh, connected through mutual friends but they're very much aware of you and wanting to get near you. And they're, you know, they're kind of taking advantage of, but I don't want, like I said, I don't want you to think that they're taking advantage. They're using the opportunity of being within uh, your sphere to, to get near you. Um, but like I said, they're doing it in a really respectful way. Like they're doing it through these means, you know, they're waiting, they're biding their time. They're coming in kind of a sidestep towards you to, to not alert you with the rabbit spirit up next and the otter spirit, really beautiful energies. Um, this just, you know, like I said, I feel like this could be family. They're like, it's like they're nuzzled right up next to you. See these otters? There's an otter here and then one here and it's like nuzzled right up under its chin and it's shaped like a heart. Of course, the message is you're never alone. And then with this rabbit, you know, being like a, a den, a family, um, you know, the two little babies snuggled in under mother right here. So it's all this kind of really snuggly, nuzzled in, really gorgeous, comforting energy. Um, and then again, also with these rabbits right here, the little bunnies under her feet, there's all this, this message about under your feet with the scarab and the mouse and the rabbits. There's, it's like they're right under your feet. They're right under your nose. Like I said, it could, if, if it's a person in your life, it's like they've gotten right up next to you. They're right under your nose. They're right under your feet. And it's almost like you they did it in such a gentle, loving way or such a, you know, like I said, biding their time and really um, doing it in such a respectful way through um, collaboration or through mutual friends. That it's almost like you didn't even realize how close they got to you. It's like they're right there. They're right there in front of you. And it's almost like you still haven't quite noticed their presence yet. That's how delicate and sensitive they're being about it um and that's why i think that it is a spirit energy because there seems to be this real care given to not wanting to startle you i mean you're coming through as really powerful and confident you know graceful in your power in alignment um, so it, it seems odd to me that somebody would be so concerned that you would be almost delicate because you're clearly not delicate. You're very firm and confident and, and, um, you know, have very healthy boundaries. So that's why I think it's, it's spirit surrounding you because it only makes sense to me. It kind of makes more sense that, um, that spirit would be concerned about startling you rather than a person because you're so confident being such a confident, you know, you seem to be well established. You seem to be very successful. A person, a physical person in your life shouldn't have that startle ability. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I really feel like 
I really feel like it's a spiritual energy, uh, you know, somebody on the other side. These two, these two cards specifically, that's what they tell me. So I'm going to continue to pull cards. I feel like they're really here today wanting, like I said, to um, make their, it's like they're ready to step forward and make your relationship more tangible, more um, perceivable by you. Because up until now, they've been so subtle and delicate that it's like you're unaware of their presence. And the message today seems to be that they feel or they're desiring for it to come more into your awareness now. It's like it's now the time for it to come more fully in your awareness. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and see if we can um, get more message from them or see where this is going. Um, so if you're interested in the extended, the link is in the description box. And if not, I'll see you next time, Aries. Thanks. Bye.